guys. Today I'm going to show you the old school technique of sharpening heavy steel hand tools like digger bars, picks, and things like that using a forge and an anvil. But because I really don't know how to do so myself, I'm going to take you up to my wife's grandfather's house and he is going to show us the technique that he and his family have been using for well over 100 years to sharpen tools uh, with this old school method. There is a bit of wind noise and the forge, so I will voice over where appropriate but I'm pretty much gonna let him take you through the process. And he's got a lot of wisdom and he's just a really cool guy. And then at the end, I will do a little bit of an update on some of the projects I have brewing. I'm Joel's wife's granddad, more commonly called Papa. Yeah. And I'm gonna show Joe and everybody how to sharpen and temper picks. With what? Using an old forge and a blower the old-fashioned way used for hundreds of years no longer in use any place except here <laughs> sounds good first you make a fire of wood then you put coal on the wood and then pretty soon the coal's burning the coal gets hotter than wood so you're looking to only heat up just the very tip of it you heat up about two inches, and that's what, and the more oxygen, the faster the gold burns. So, you have a little crow's nest, you have a pipe underneath there, there's some little holes in the pipe, you have the blower, you build a wood fire, you add coal to the wood fire, give it a little air, and pretty soon the coal's on fire, and it's hot enough to get steel red hot. If the steel gets white hot and starts sparking, it's too hot. The teenager, I watch my dad and I work with my dad and my uncles and, and great uncles when I was about uh, 16, uh -huh. 15, 16, up in the mines, up in the mountains. I need a little dipper. So what'd you add the water for? To, to cool the, the wood down. I don't want the wood, the handle to burn. Well, that makes sense. Everything you do, just common sense. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing scientific about it. 1907 or 08. My dad was born in nine. And then they tore it down and brought it up here in wagons and they broke a lot of the adobes uh -huh. so they had to make new adobes right there on the ridge okay. where the clay is and that's why there's two colors of adobe in the walls oh kind of neat story yeah okay now this one's hot enough flaking off it's hot 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 Heat it up again. You notice it's starting to come to a point. Nice sharp one this time. See how I drew that to a point? Nice yeah. sharp point. Get that baby straight the way we want it. Now all we have to do is temper that baby. Okay, it's orange hot now instead of red hot or white hot. When it's orange hot, it's time for tempering. When gas for gets to the bottom, you do that. 
and you're just tempering just the very end? Well, it gets us a little harder up here too, but the end should be pretty hard. See the white? I want that white to stay there. Now I'm cooling that down. You cool it down fast and that's your temper, it gets hard. Old duck bill here. And I rake that in the dirt to, so I can see it better. And what's the big dunk do? That just It kind of hardens the whole thing so that if it's hot up here, it doesn't come down to take the temper away. Oh, okay. You want that uh, good and hard on the tip. Let's see what happens. See, it just barely made a mark on it. It was down at our shop for quite a few years. It's a 14 inch blower. Uh -huh. And <clears throat> we, we moved it away to put another building up. So it sat for about a year. And then I decided to make a new crow's nest, set it up up here by the old shop, sharpen our steel here, and Les overhauled it. He took it apart, got it to where it ran smooth, oiled it up. I set this all up. Now we sharpen our steel, our picks, and uh, bars, any kind of steel that we want to work with. And that's right called here. the uh, crow's nest right this there? This is called the crow's nest. That's where the uh, the air gets blown through? Yeah, the, the blower blows uh, the air through this pipe, and there's some little holes in the pipe underneath there, and they come straight up, and that gives the oxygen to the coal, uh, which, lights on fire after you build a wooden fire to get the coal started and then when you get the fire going you just add a little coal as you need it heat up your steel till it's red hot and then you hammer it out heat it up until it's orange hot the second time and then you temper your steel and you have sharp picks to go so that's pretty much it. I hope that was interesting for you guys. It certainly was for me. It's always cool to see old methods like that that are not completely lost to time, as well as old tools like that forge that are still operating today, probably pretty close to as smoothly as the first day they were made. Really a testament to the craftsmanship and engineering of the day. Um, if you guys are wondering about the building in the background during the demonstration, that is an old adobe building that my wife's family had built well over 100 years ago in one location, and it was actually moved to that location sometime later and has served various uses from a blacksmith shop and a home to food storage and other things. And now uh, my wife's grandfather is currently getting it turned into a museum of some heritage of the family and the general area. So that very well could make its way into a future video. There's just a lot of history around here, especially with my wife's family. And I did want to give another thank you to my wife's grandfather around here. We know him as Papa Lynn. He is a wealth of knowledge, a super kind man, and has probably forgotten more things in his life than I will ever learn. And I'm just very blessed uh, to uh, know him and have a relationship with him. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. Um, check me out on Instagram and uh, stay tuned for some future projects like the camp trailer and uh, some updates uh, to some things I've been doing. So we will see you next time.